Turn Signal with Kim Troby. The debate over whether there's a gay gene has raged for decades. Gay activists have long claimed there is, but good luck getting them to produce any solid science to back it up. Peter Tatchell, a gay activist in the United Kingdom, has written a surprising article, Homosexuality, It Isn't Natural. He told Family News in Focus, genetics isn't the sole determining factor in whether someone will be gay. Now I am more persuaded that there are fundamental inborn biological factors that make people more inclined to be gay or more inclined to be straight. But I think it would also be equally foolish to close the door and say that it's simply down to biological factors. There's no other factors or influences that uh, impact on a person's sexual orientation. Focus on the families, Jeff Johnston says there are lots of theories. Some people believe that homosexuality is caused by our genes. Other people believe it's caused by hormonal influences, things that happen in the womb. Some people believe that it's purely a matter of choice. Um, what we believe is that it's a combination of a lot of different factors, including our environment primarily. Um, your genes are what make you human. You have human genes, so you're human. But then what you do with your humanity is um, what determines how you behave. And that's a combination of different thoughts and feelings and beliefs and experiences that you have. And so we believe that homosexuality comes from all of that together, not just from one single cause. So why do gay activists continue to insist that it's genetic? Because if it's genetic, then you can't help acting a certain way or being a certain way. And so then we should accommodate you because you can't help being that way. And so they're using the idea that it's genetic, and there have been a lot of studies about that, and they haven't found any gay gene. But they're using that idea that it's genetic to drive a political and social agenda. Tatchell's theory on genetics isn't his only position that raises eyebrows. He's also an advocate of lowering the age of consent to 14, and he believes that kids much younger than that can decide whether or not they're gay.